All right, in this video, uh, we're just going to go over the process of um, using Max in conjunction with Zebra Brushes UV Master to uh, just another UV in technique you can use. So uh, I'm going to set up the seams here, the Unwrap UVW modifier and Max, and then we're going to export it out, import it to ZBrush, and then flatten it out with UV Master, then ex export it from ZBrush back into Max apply you unwrap UVW mod and we'll have a look then we can arrange our shells or whatever we want to do edit some more right so we start off creating the seams apply the unwrap modifier and now if you wanted it you could delete half of the model and just create seams and half mirror across or use symmetry collapse and uh, go across but sure we'll just do it this way so the edge mode it's a pretty basic base model base mesh model so but it'll serve its purpose for this example so select an edge loop make sure the loop is selected convert edge selection to seams same again loop convert Loop convert. Just uh, make sure you don't forget to after you select your edges to convert. Because as soon as you go off selecting somewhere else, it'll disregard that selection. You'll have to do it again. It can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Right, loop. Go around the legs here. Loop, convert, and we'll just run the solder fee. This is uh, also a good example of why it's good to, you know, to have clean topology, modeled, nice loops. It just makes things easier. UV mapping. See here, I have to. Oops, I have to. Uh, Oh, see, I just made that mistake myself there. I forgot to convert the selection, so I lost it. So see the way I have to, you know, click around a few different edges before I loop. Just so, you know, it's running through a pole here, so it's not, the loop will stop. So, so it's well, you, you have to have poles modeling. There's just no way around it, but. It's nice to just have clean loops to select. So we'll just continue on. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, 2.44 a.m. Quarter to 3 in the morning, so you'll have to forgive me for making the same mistake twice after giving advice and not making it. So... Just do it again and convert it over. Now we just go into the hands. Maybe just select here loop. And again loop. What else now the head? We'll just take a seam off from the back. We'll just use the point to point. And you don't have to convert this, it'll automatically create it. Right, that's that one. Yeah. Might be no harm to just put one here. Oops. Point to point. Just under the chin, maybe. Here. And around the hands now. So I'm just going to uh, point to point for this, or maybe I'll see if I can get a loop, and then would have been just, no, I'm just going to use point to point, it'll be just quicker, easier, so where can we start, we'll start maybe here mm -hmm. oh. this 
at the bottom bit where it would have actually been nice to use symmetry. But we'll persevere. This what I do to your own. I'll be back in a second. Right, so let's see our hand done. I'll have to watch that boring, boring process. So I'll just uh, do these remaining seams now between the legs, the arms, and the torso. So we'll just use point to point again. This one and uh, maybe we'll just chop the feet off as well. Loop convert. Okay. Torso. make sure you right click every time at the point to point till just to exit out well it doesn't exit out but it's just it uh, breaks the connection with your last um, selection and you can start the new one then stay in the till right so that's that done we'll keep that on and we're just gonna export I'm just I'm, I'm gonna use OBJ so I'll just export that and I'll uh, I'll jump across the zed bush. Right, so there's one last thing I forgot to mention just before we head off the zed bush. Um, if we were to just export our model, um, with just with the seams created, importing the zed bush and try to use, try to unwrap using UV master, it'll give an error saying, um, um the mesh is a single shell basically it doesn't recognize um, just the seams even when you bake the UVs in by collapsing the um, it doesn't actually have UVs so it only has it only has seams so what you want to do is um, just open the UV editor and just one by one you're going to just have to just select the face expand quick peel select Expand, quick peel, select, expand, quick peel, quick peel. So just go around each individual 
UV shell, or UV island, and uh, do this. It, it doesn't take long at all. So just get the ears. Now that uh, symmetry modifier is starting to look rather inviting. I got the arms. Let's make sure, double check. Right, so once that's done, you can just grab everything and then scale, pack, and that should be everything there. So that's good enough. So close that down. Now we can just collapse that, bake it in, and export again. So we'll just export that, yes. Yes, yes, and uh, we'll uh, just jump across the Z brush. Right, so up to import. Just select your mesh, drag it out in the canvas T to go into edit mode. And right, so first things first, up the Z plugin, and just click this icon to dock it the palette open UV master and uh, what we want to do before we do anything you can see this pop up highly recommend so you want to click on work on clone this will basically just create a temporary clone mesh here separate from our original that we'll work on and then we'll copy the UVs from this paste it onto the the lowest level of your your working mesh and uh, which in this case for this workflow will just be one single level paste it back on okay so we want to check use existing UV seams and unwrap and that's it it's unwrapped now we can click flatten we can see our UVs unflatten copy UVs so we've copied them and then we'll just click here to our original mesh paste UVs I'll just uh, this material and now to check we can just come down here to uh, UV map just click on morph UVs we can see that uh, there's our UVs click that again and export and just export wherever you can override it if you want to create another one and we'll uh, jump back to max just delete that bloke and import in is that no here H and there he is. Import Oh hang on a sec. Now we'll um just reapply our reapply or uh, unwrap and there we go there's the UVs from um, ZBrush so I can just rearrange these whatever way you like I'm just gonna apply a quick um, checker map bitmap flattened or sorry nicely unwrapped you know very 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 little stretching so that's pretty much it all right then have fun